They turn in? Speed on him. Okay, we're gonna go, go into a hard. We're gonna have to go into a hard turn here. the channel floppy Woppy here today we're checking out the seahawk mark 100 a highly balanced aircraft at 7.7 not too fast not too slow it turns well it's a good overall balanced aircraft and it can get caught and it can get killed and there's really nothing too extreme <music> This thing has air-to-air -air missiles at 7.7. .7. What? In the apple pie fruitcakes are air-to-air -air missiles doing at 7.7. .7. The weird thing is, this jet functions well as a 7.7. .7. Like what I was saying in like before we dropped the air-to-air -air missiles on this, it's not that fast, or excuse me, it doesn't accelerate fast, so you can easily get caught if your position's not well. It is fast when you plan and you get that plane going. It can top out level flight, I think maybe 100 meters off the ground at like 909, 910 kilometers an hour. It fits well at 7.7. .7. These air air missiles don't. And the thing that is comical and sad at the same time is that the British variant, even though this is a British jet on the German tech tree, the British variant is the same BR without air-to-air -air missiles and I believe lower payload than advertised on the dev blog. It's like they don't even account the lethality of AIM-9Bs. I'm sure they're not that good, but they're going to get you kills if you fire them at the right targets. This is a very good aircraft for 7.7, .7, even without the air-to-air -air missiles. The air-to-air -air missiles just are just cherry on top. Guarantee you they're going to bump this thing up to, I don't know, 8.3, 8.0, whatever you guys think it should be in the comments below, let me know. But it's a trap aircraft. If it stays, it's damned. If it goes up, it's damned. That makes sense. It's kind of like the jumbo, but more of an example. I wonder how many Seahawks there are. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I think I missed one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not a betting man, nor am I a gambler, but I will wager one silver lion that will win this game. And especially at low jet BR where everyone's not keeping their energy properly. This plane can do a lot of things at low energy. Turn well, track well, rudder's good, aileron's good. Look at this roll at low airspeed. Not going to go full around because I'm going to slice into the ground, but... God, do I feel confident. <laughs> GG. That's not good. It doesn't really help that already three of their players are B-57s. So that's that's three fighters that they, they already don't have. Okay, he bombed that. Good job. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he missed his bombs. We really don't need to track that guy. We're, we're pretty much center map. We're going to turn in. Look at that turn rate. Beautiful. And we're going to get some air speed up. I really don't like making these videos where it's kind of like a, a complain fest. But th this is 
this is an exception. Like this, this has to be stated that this is not a fair aircraft at 7.7. .7. Oh, cool! A contender. We have an F nine F that just dropped out of the uh, the sky. Wasn't any clouds. Just no one was near him. F two H. Okay, so we got some competition. A meteor. A little bit of competition. Let's not get sucked up too high. That's where we kind of lose our advantage. The F9F just crashed. Two meteor went head on with the 262. Okay, and spooled up the anti-air anti missiles. No one's here, so we're going to stall climb. I could shoot him, but I just want to get a missile kill here. Yeah, I don't know why. What? I mean, that's kind of a bad example because he, he pretty much... I think that guy l l let us kill him. Because the guns would have worked easily at that point. We got some low flyers. Two... There's a, well, we haven't lost one jet yet. All right. This is going to be a heads-on, it looks like. Well done. Fuck yeah. No, if he's smart, he would have go back. Okay, we're gonna fake this. And okay, we're gonna pull off. Air brakes. It's actually really surprising at how many of our, our team died there. Hey, hey, game, can you please spot that guy? Clouds, missiles, count me in. Can we get a missile kill here? I think he's kind of dazed. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 7.7! 7. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, we're gonna help out the Seahawk over here. Missiles are spinning. I thought we could get it on that first guy, but... I think he knew what was gonna happen there. Meteor's tracking the Seahawk. It's a friendly near me. We're gonna go help. See how fast he is though. No, he he's full commit. Air brakes. Air brakes off. Really misread that. Back up. Nice one six three. Unfortunate right there. Air brakes. Beautiful. Try to catch him on the turnaround, just my, my rudder wasn't wasn't going fast enough for that rudder to really make a difference. 
I think this actually opens up a discussion. Because this is a great... I think this is a balanced 7.7 .7 aircraft. If equipping weapons, like the AIM-9B, that's when it should be bumped up to 8.3 to 8.0. Let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, what type of side effects that could cause for um, the game. If any. Okay, we're going to pre-turn. And just cut them off right here. This is perfect. Okay, he's not going the way I thought he was. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Okay, he's going full up. Okay, he got shot down by a 163. So, a little risky this game. We take off this way. I turned around here to, you know, be on the heading I am now. But we're in a direct climb path with the players, the enemies that, you know, took off from this runway. This is the way they, they take off here. Now, the whole plan here is to get spotted and then to drag them low to the center of the battlefield. And hopefully, <sighs> this is why I don't like to do this too much. Hopefully, our team's going to pick them off of me. And they won't track me anymore. You know how easy of a kill that would be right now? I really should do that because a lot of my teammates are going to slot in on him. Okay, good. Only two. He's, he's going to be gone extremely quick, though. So, bad thing. Majority of our team latched on to the B-57. And we have three players trying to track down this Canberra. So, the whole plan of dragging them to the center of the battle is really not going to work out too well with us. So, let's just get some speed and try to fend for ourselves. Yep, he's tracking. He's faster than us. We're going to pop some air brakes here. Give him some sugar. There he goes. He's really committed now. Got to make sure that we're clean to, to stall kill if we have to here. A little more air brakes. Idle. Air brakes up. Power. Why did that work? Okay, this is going to be suicidal here. We're going to lag in hopes that this vampire maneuvers. He's not maneuvering at all. Holy cow. That was... Did you guys see that? Okay, he, okay, he, he, he maneuvers for me, though. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Okay, he, he did a turnaround. Okay, we got to be careful here. We've got the speed. Okay, up we go. Okay, and... It was a head-on. That's gonna be the last guy there. Alright, we're free. Oh my goodness gracious. Where'd everyone go? There's only... Four, five, six kills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this opens another door for a conversation. If people crash... It should be put into a pool of, I don't know, potential RP. And then at the end of the game, the players who are still alive with the victory will get those, those RP points. Let me know what you guys think about that. Comments below. We got a tracker on me. I'm going to try to sustain a close position to this F-84 just in case this happens. 
Okay, he's maneuvered. I'm clear. Rocket has been launched. That probably is not at me. I mean, that was probably a teammate. Yeah, that was definitely a teammate. God dang it. We're going to keep keeping up with this F-84. This, this 163 is either going to kill him or make him maneuver. I mean, it, God, right now would have been a great time for a missile. Ah, oh, don't pull off. We got to pull up as well. Okay. Cool. No, he can't turn around fast enough. Let's see what happens here. Beautiful. Okay, and then I think I'm clear. Where did the, okay, the the 163 is making a beeline back for the base? I think the only enemy left is the MiG-9. Okay. It's a good plane for 7.7. It just doesn't need the missiles. It just doesn't need those darn missiles. Now, the MiG-9 can easily outspeed us. Might be able to outroll us at its top airspeed, but... If we just cut it off, I think we'll be able to get on its tail. I mean, crap, it's got, it's, it's got a 163 hunting. It's not getting away unless the 163 runs out of fuel. Well, actually, I take that back. The MiG-9 can actually outrun the 163 with a decent dive but look look he wants to get back to his base so you can see how we're intercepting his path here and he's gonna have to climb above these mountains too so he's gonna lose a lot of airspeed okay i think he just pressed j but at least someone got the kill for it fellas hope you have enjoyed tell me what you guys feel in the comments below what i feel is that it's a great 7.7 .7 aircraft it fits that br well but without the A-9B missiles. Honestly, it just doesn't make sense. If you have an Apple with... Yeah, this, this might trigger a lot of people. With caramel... Guys, it's okay. People can say words differently and still understand what people are saying. And if you have an Apple... Just a plain apple. You, you you see how the apple with caramel is upgraded, is better, at the same BR? How does that make any sense? And this is what I'm trying to get at. Seahawk, no air-to-air -air missiles, 7.7. .7. Air-to-air -air missiles, 7.7. .7. I don't know, guys. <laughs> um, guys, I think we need to start a, um, a GoFundMe for War Thunder to hire a normal human being that's not on a cocktail of potato, vodka, and the fuck else is there? Bear meat straight into their juggler. This is, this is simple. This is a simple... This is just stupid. This is so dumb. Great aircraft ruined by some gimmicky missiles. That's, what, that's my feeling. Let me know yours in the comments below. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.